And drivers are counting on I-17 reopening so they can head north to enjoy the big snow on a Monday holiday for many people. ABC 15's Jennifer Park spent the day in Flagstaff as people started getting ready for business. In Flagstaff, many, like Mark Stevens, woke up and quickly got to work shoveling out of more than a foot of snow. This business owner says it's been a long time waiting for this. It's definitely a welcome sight. It's kind of a pain at the moment. But... Crews worked all night clearing the streets so everyone could get around, including those who tried to venture up to Snow Bowl. At the checkpoint, crews stopped cars to make sure they were prepared. Some didn't realize they had to come with chains. No chains? No chains, yeah. <laughs> We're going to have to get those back in town. But no one could be happier to see this latest winter blast than the folks at Snowball. There's never too much snow for us. The last week in December was their last significant snowstorm. Uh, that means Flagstaff is going to be full of skiers uh, all the way through the month of March. Good news for competitive skiers like Ellie Murray. It's just fun to ski in new snow. But this much powder makes it tough for skiers and snowboarders. It's challenging because it makes it a little slippery, but at the same time, when you're curving, the powder just goes flying. Some learning the hard way. You need to bundle up. Good gloves are definitely a must because mine are frozen. So, And with at least a foot of fresh powder on the ground and hearing that this place may be open even longer, that's exciting. Many skiers and snowboarders alike. Reporting at Snowball, Jennifer Parks, ABC 15 News.